Well, I always hear people talking about the Peter Belts, the Ken words. So yep. for all you international yep. fans out there, and there's still a lot of y'all. That, yep, that's me. So I'm from Ohio. Springfield plant is super close to me. Fort Wayne, Indiana plant, super close to me. They built America. There's probably more older internationals than Kenworth, Peterbilt, any other one out there, especially in the medium and heavy trucks. And that's my passion. So what we got right here, brother? It's a 71 International Transstar 4300, specifically 4374. It's a 2021 International HX520. What's going on, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian Mind Show. We're here in Onaway, Michigan, and I'm telling you, if you like antique old school trucks, you gotta know about these guys, man. I just was talking to you off camera. Introduce yourself, sir. Hey, I'm Eric Riselt, owner of Riselt's Machine Works. We're an upfitting business in Central Ohio. We specialize in aluminum flatbeds. Aluminum but, flatbeds. But we love old trucks, especially international. So we've got our '71 Transstar over here and we've got our 21 HX520 that we copied that truck. It looks, wait, no, let's back up over here. Let's back up over here. We got to see them both. Look at that, brother. Wow. You know, before we get into that new build, can we look at the old build and talk about Yeah, what absolutely. That looks like? This truck is really cool, rare truck from California. You're from Miami, right? I'm from originally from California. Okay, cool. So all aluminum, 1971, 4370, aluminum frame, aluminum hubs, everything. Super lightweight truck. It's just an awesome old truck. We painted it, but it's original. And then the bed, this is a bed and toolbox that we sell right here. Class eight truck stuff, heavy duty. That's cool, bro. Yep. I yep. would love to put that on one of my trucks, man. Yep, yep. That's cool. So yeah, check out the frame on this truck. That's the money shot right here. Nobody sees these anymore. Come check out the end, how thick it is. It's just it's just a diamond in the rough is what it is. Most of these were junked long ago. And then you built this back up yep. to what the precious is now. Yeah, exactly. So then we loved it so much. We wanted a family show hauler to come to shows like this. So we built a new one and copied it as close as we could. I'm telling you people, this is so cool. Uh, talk about it. Let's walk over to that build. Let's look yeah, at it. Yeah. So what's neat is 71 first year for the aluminum cab. 21 last year for the aluminum cab from International. So HX520, we've copied the logos as best we could. Same paint. Uh, the sleeper. That's the only thing. Let's, walk, let's, so let's look at the sleeper. We've this turned is this crazy. into a proper you know big ride just a proper big truck two stacks two tanks everything so it's a little departure from the other one but this is a proper highway truck and we can load up trucks on a trailer two other big trucks and hit the road and here we are i tell you brother you know i always hear people talking about the peter belts the ken words so yep. for all you international yep. fans out there and there's still a lot of y'all that, yep that's me so i'm from ohio Springfield plant is super close to me. Fort Wayne, Indiana plant, super close to me. They built America. There's probably more older internationals than Kenworth, Peterbilt, any other one out there, especially in the medium and heavy trucks. And that's my passion. Love so, it, brother. I yeah. appreciate you so much. Sorry, and I'll put it on there for you. Yeah, Facebook, uh, truckbedman.com, or I'm sorry, just truckbedman on Facebook. And, uh, or Rice Elts Machine Works, either one. And we have a, a great array of pictures on our page. That's cool, man. So right there, people, that's good stuff, man. You know, I thought it was just so interesting because I was like, wait a minute, 
why is this classic and this new one look alike? And right, I'm like, right. You know, it's cool to see them both in the same place. It is. And so real specifically about the sleeper, I didn't really say yeah, let's much. Talk. Let's talk so, about it. You got to flex a little bit. Come yeah. on, walk over here. International, always used in the 70s and 80s. Their factory sleeper was a Bentz, I believe. And this shape is the shape of a Bentz, B-E-N-T-Z, sleeper. Or a double eagle, I think, was one. But Mercury sleepers had this polished appearance. Those were more common in the 50s and 60s. So what we've done is combine what would look like an original international sleeper, but in a Mercury polished stainless, low maintenance, clean it with Windex. I'm telling you, man, my wifey could do her makeup with this. Yep. She can look right through it. Yep. <laughs> we did not build the sleeper. We had it made. That's outside of my, my scope of work, but it was kind of our my dream for this way it looks right now. I'll tell you, brother. That's great. The question man. I always love to ask people is, why are you working this hard? And building so many cool custom stuff especially for international man why, why are you doing this I love what I do I love building trucks we upfit trucks every day and I play with trucks on the weekend it's it's good honest work I get to be creative support my family we have fun doing it at the same time and God made us to work I tell you brother. so who we got here who we got here today we got my wife and two boys here on our first trip with this new truck I love it brother yep. I appreciate you thank you Thank I appreciate you. you. Thank you. Hell yeah, bro. We'll see you later. I appreciate it. Yeah, check them out.